This question is 5 plus 2. We are going to use our fingers and our mind to solve this question. We are going to first of all take our 5 fingers. We know our hand has 5 fingers so we don't have to count them out. 5 and then on the other hand we are going to take out 2 more fingers. So we have 2 here. When we count all of them together we solve our sum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sometimes we can see a sum which is written like this as 7 and 2. We write it like this 7 plus 2. And to solve it, we are going to make balls. We are going to make 7 balls first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now we are going to make 2 more balls. To add all of them together, we know we have made these 7 balls here. So we don't have to count them all over again. We are just going to count on from 7. So this is 7. This is 8 and 9. 7 plus 2 equals 9. Now we are going to solve this question. The question is 8 plus 4. We keep the first number, the bigger number in our head. So 8 stays in our head, in our mind. And then we count 4 more. So we are going to count on. After 8, we are going to count 4 more. 9, 10, 11, 12. For this question, 13 plus 3. We keep the bigger number, which is 13 in our head. And then we count 3 more. So 13 stays in our mind and after 13 we count 14, 15, 16. 13 plus 3 equals 16. We can see this is a number line. It has numbers all the way from 1 till 10. We are going to use this number line and this bead to solve this sum. The sum is 3 plus 5. So we are going to put the bead on the number 3. From 3, we have to make 5 more jumps. We are going to go forward on the number 9 and we are going to make 5 jumps ahead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. I'm going to show this again to you. The first number here is 3. We are going to put our bead on the number 3. From here, we have to take 5 more jumps. We have to add the number 5. We are not going to count the number 3 as the first one. We are not going to start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you do that, the answer is wrong. The answer is 7, which is wrong. We are going to start counting from the next number. So the first jump is going to be like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we get the right answer, which is 8. We are going to add 2 and 4 together. We are going to put the bead on the number 2, on the number 9, and we are going to take 4 more jumps. We are going to move ahead on the number 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. And the answer is 6. Now we are going to add 9 and 0 together. We are going to put the bead on the number 9, which is the first number. From here, we have to take 0 jumps. Zero means nothing, so we are not going to take any more jumps forward. We are not going to move forward on the number line, and our answer is going to be nine itself. 